to another New York favorite of mine, Mod the God. Okay, first of all, y'all know how I be, so if y'all don't want to hear this, just skip forward. Mod the God, I love him, okay? He has introduced us to Clarence and the duo Queen and Clarence before they were even in a relationship. Back when he was Patty. Yeah, I was watching it. Um, but I love his journey. I love how intentional he's been lately with his content. And how he's used his lessons from God to just make him a better person. And get his music out there. So, oh, and my sons love his new soul. Mom, please leave me alone. Oh, that's cause to come over here to everybody. So, Hello, everybody. She's so beautiful. Mom, She's gonna react I'm to me. Trying right now. to like use what I learned in my class and get straight to the oh, point. I'm straight to, to the get point. Straight to the video. Oh, straight to the video. I thought you wanted me to sing so you could react. I didn't, though. So let me let me back up so you could take that. Mod, she's See auditioning, later. but we not having that. Thank you. Because I'm a dealer to the beat. Mom, for Okay, real. bye, y'all. She played too much. All right. So, I had to make sure I was recording. Let's get into it. It says, last year of my 20s, new goals, tour, new music, podcast, and Patreon. It's my last year of my 20s, too. And I'm excited for 30. Cute. Two. What's good, y'all? I think just got out of bed. All my um all my TikTok girlfriends be mad at me. I've been stressed out and when I'm when I'm stressed out, I be picking my face. I got mad little scab no. cut marks on my face. Every woman I ever talked to right now has called me and cursed me out for my mother to to old to old flings. They all tired of me and the treatment of my face. They said I'm about to go on tour, so I need to stop touching my right. face. So, for the sake of all my TikTok girlfriends, I'm, we we gonna outwork the stress. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's good. We like to, to hear that. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Okay. Let me sit down. Look, the feet out. Yeah, the okay. feet out. Okay. What's good, y'all? You probably wondering like that. why you guys didn't get a new video in the new year, which you did. My my year ended with some with some shit with some shit that I wouldn't that I don't even want to speak about, but it just made me put together a plan and figure out like how to be different. Hold on, I gotta show y'all how much I've been playing. Remember with me, but you feel me? This is my little trusty board. I like that. Where I done wrote out my life plan and exactly like what I want to take serious moving forward. Uh huh. A lot of YouTubers don't really mature as or have like i really haven't seen a youtuber really mature into anything other than really an artist you feel me either they stay in the youtube lane um True. i mean people are doing twitch now and stuff like that like youtube has brought that but i've never really seen nobody like just really develop as a man into a whole nother lane other yeah. than just being a youtuber so right now i'm really i've really been like studying and watching like what do I want to do moving forward besides just being a rapper like I know I'm gonna that. rap and you know I love music I'm not gonna stop doing this y'all shit do you feel me y'all better sign me because y'all gonna get 85 if I live at 85 y'all gonna have 85 mixtapes <laughs> yeah other than that you know being a dream chaser as I am um I spent my I spent the most the most of my life in terms of like the last couple years really focused on one specific thing, which has really been rap, YouTube. I, I was I was passionate about it and I, I enjoyed it and like the camaraderie with me and my friends and stuff like that. But it was never my first thing. I always was doing YouTube to- um, Get something else. 
just become a better rapper for the right. rap career, no matter what it was, even if the content really had nothing to do with music, at that point in time, I was just trying to build up my, um, damn, I didn't brush my teeth yet if I wasn't a little crazy, but I was just trying to build up my audience and fan base right. in order to be able to have more people, just a bigger audience. That's valid. To, to That's what Armand and Trey did. Now, would it be That's 2023, what and you feel me, my rap career is gone where I, uh, it's better than it used to be for sure, but... I just see how, like, I, I've limited myself. You feel me? I've limited myself. I'm just so much more. And well, now with the way content creation works, I think it's, like, weirdly, mm. I wish it was like this four years ago when I was coming up, but, like, it's, like, weirdly where, like, they accept you being Multiple. in different bags. You feel me? Like, back then, it used to be hard to be a YouTuber and try to be a rapper, which yeah. is why, like, at a point, I had to, like, make a choice between, like, yo, making this amount of money or like my dream, which I feel like is gonna feed my family forever, you feel me? So that was just a lot harder. I think now content creation has allowed you to like almost allow, Step you know, even if you like the music, allow Business people to like the person. And I think I sell myself short on how amazing my personality is. Yeah, you feel me? Doing. People love me. Y'all love me. Everybody think I'm funny. You feel me? When I'm not picking my face, you feel me? I take your daughter. You feel me? If she's over 21, <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> and I won't date her if she's 21. But if she's over 21, 21, she's in my range. Mm -hmm. And she can get it. And all you niggas with 40 year old wives, y'all wife can get it too. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm about to be 30 now. It's a little different. Mm -hmm. So let me wash up, clean. I'm about to clean my crib. And we about to talk. We about to talk. This is just the start of. <laughs> Yeah, my new chapter, you feel too. me? It's about me. Um, all types of content will be involved. There's really no limit to the type of content. I'm just not doing anything like specifically childish or corny. Okay, so let me chime in here because this has been how, this has been how, yeah, this has been how I've been feeling when it comes to reacting like don't get me wrong i love reacting and i love how i can um kind of speak on and encourage and just share love and light in this field and in this realm but it's not the only thing i want to do with youtube and he's right like i've been watching and studying youtube for a while and before you could not just do a whole bunch of different things on your YouTube or have multiple different businesses, like people would be confused, like, are you a YouTuber or not? And pranks was very, very, very heavy trending on YouTube. Like pranks still go now, but like back then, like he said, when he was coming up, pranks was the thing to do to blow up. And now like, like he said, we're almost in our 30s. We're getting older. And I'm not going to hold y'all. The reason why y'all never saw a prank from me is because I'm not a pranking person. Like, neither is my mother. My mother jokes all the time, but, like, we're not pranking people. If she pranked me, I would be pissed and vice versa. You get what I'm saying? Yes. I'm working. Can you go in your bed, please? Go so go in the bathroom, please. Okay. Thank you. I, I love you. No, go on the toilet. You can do it. You have Spidey on your chest. You could do it, Spidey. So I totally agree. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to keep doing these reactions because I truly enjoy them, but also include other facets of myself. Like I have a podcast nobody knows about. I have like, I have a business, a digital creative um, studio. Like there are so many facets to me that I want to show. Y'all hear my kids 24 seven, but like I want to show me in mommy mode and stuff like that. So I totally get it. And, um, yeah, that was my little spiel for the whole video. I'm not going to do it no more. I promise. I hope God hit us. Yeah. Uh, I hope God hit us. Yeah. I hope God hit us. Yeah. I love success, but it breed haters. I only need paper. I said I would be this nigga since a teenager. Dream chaser. I chose rap, but Brody chose a Glock with a green laser. He get fiend paper. Me, I get clean paper. And I ball like a L.A. Laker. Change my hood like a landscape. Damn faker, all my bitches look.
I drink Benefiber. You feel me? I drink Benefiber every day. I don't think I've ever drank Benefiber. Now while I'm mixing. I wanted to use this video He's back as like an update video and like just a, a vlog as well. Um, tour. All right. Cause I need everybody to understand how the, we even got we even got to the stress. You feel me? Cause the, the end of the year wasn't bad. You feel me? But the year started and it was stressful. Tour, you were wrong about me. Tour, it is still happening. Yes, it is still happening. Okay. What happened? Ooh. The opportunity was brought to me to go on tour. Um, shout out to the people that I'm working with. I don't know if they want me to say. He he looked out. He he planned out a whole tour for me. In the midst of the tour being planned, once the announcement was made, um, a label reached out to me. I want to work with mine. Or a manager from a label reached out to me, and they said that they wanted to make an artist, one of their artists at the label, be a part of the tour. Now, I'm independent, so I'm like, hey, to have a, a, a to, to be on an independent tour, but to have an art, a signed artist from a label on the tour with me, that would be like a good look. You feel me? Like we get tour support. Right. We have A and R's from the building. We'd have possible A and R's just popping out from relationships. It would create relationships and just allow the tour to be yeah, that um, would be cool. a more what's the word I'm looking for? Uh it's not productive. The word I'm not look the word I'm looking for is not productive. But either way, just to make it uh just to make the event more resourceful or just yeah. big it up. Either way, that process with the label changed the whole scope of the tour. Uh. We had to move dates, um, rearrange things. The new dates will actually be announced very soon, that makes which sense. is like probably this week because I just actually got the flyer. We just got to approve it to um, put it out. But um, we're still going to all the same places. The dates have changed. Um, anybody who hmm. has already bought a ticket, um, when it the applies. date for your show is um, announced, you will have the option to either refund your ticket, get a refund on your ticket, a full refund, no problem. If um, you paid you you and you can't make that date, you'll be able to get your full refund for whatever you paid for, and. Um, um, if you want to keep your ticket, you also have the option to keep your ticket and move advance, advance to the date. The new ticket link and tour link will be posted soon. The announcement will be made so you guys can see um, who the artist from the label is that's um, about to be a part of this tour. And yeah that's, yeah, that's pretty much it on tour. That's it on tour. I don't really, I don't really got too much more, more to say about tour. Uh, thank you guys, anybody who bared with me. The tour is still going on. It's just, yeah, this is my first time doing this. I'm not going to sit here, sit up here and act like um, <laughs> everything went perfect. It didn't go perfect. We had to make a lot of changes um, in order to make this happen. But, but we did make it happen. Though. So that um, still I'm still happening. excited to announce that I will be on tour. Like, I'm still mad excited. Everybody that bought that's a ticket, lit. everybody that's been hitting me in the DMs, asking for a ticket. Um, I'm not asking for a ticket. This is why. This is, this, this is why I couldn't talk. Like, you feel me? I, I finally just said something. But, yeah. And, um, I like yeah, that's pretty the much, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And if you, before I, I end this segment and go clean another part of my house, which is key, um, <laughs> unexpected tool, uh -huh. the mixtape is out right now. I don't know if anybody who, you gotta be like one of my real day ones to know about unexpected one. Unexpected one had Patrick, um, what it had. Unexpected one. Patrick was on that. The Miracle was on that. Cool. A lot of interlude uh, is one of the was one of is like a fan favorite okay. across to this day. People tell me I've been I was went crazy on Cool Lot of Interlude. I don't even like when I made that I just freestyled it. That was one of these when I just freestyled. I was like in the studio. I like Spanish woman call me my my Spanish woman Spanish woman do bachata when I pull up in the spot. Uh, I think that's when Meek had just dropped that um Dun, 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 dun. So that's like I was in that vibe, I'm and then my friend, 
and that's unexpected one. But now, big unexpected two is out. I'm about to put the graph right here. Bow. And um, yeah, I got it. Yeah, this includes my two on the radar freestyles. Okay. Um, I got literally that. and Project Hove. Um, it has a sneak peek. I don't think nobody knows this. Well, let me shut up. Nobody knows this. But <laughs> the final song, song six, uh -huh. it's going to be on another project. It has an actual name and it's going to be on another project. I did that to just give you a sneak peek into where I'm headed with the sound. Okay. So shout out to my nigga Hefe. Shout out to everybody on this project. Um, yeah, my nigga um, Video on the Beat, Produce, Rap City. Um, my nigga New York, NYC I Sam. It. Big producer, produce literally and Raven. My nigga Dujan produced LMA. Um, Project Hope was Hefe and question mark, question mark, question mark was also Hefe. Me and Hefe got a lot coming, bro. But um Okay, Hefe. Okay, I saved it. I had to get in. As you guys time, see now, now, the crib is clean. You feel me? I got my little affirmation on the wall. Cause I'll be sitting like here five, all day, so you know when I got something to think week, about it. You know, it, nobody comes in here, so I know it's Amen. a little ghetto. You probably get a better one from Target, but I hooked my shit up. You feel me? I got a little, <laughs> little I got a little rice, it rice going on over here. You feel me? Good yellow Teach me, got ice. I can't I make got rice. You feel me? Nothing. I need a rice cooker. Let's see what we did here. I just perfected my quinoa. Yeah, mom. we seasoned up the salmon and chopped it up today. Okay. Yeah, okay. Real okay, coming we're in. doing amazing. Hold on, let's keep okay. going around. Let's keep going around. Let's show them how we clean the spot up. Where's your vegetable, Ron? Your, your you boyfriend crib. Pissing me off like when I see your plate. Let me wash the joint on the no floor. Vegetables. I wonder where my mat on the floor is. Yeah. Do you eat salads? Like, what is it? I would throw the middle finger up, but y'all banned me on the tube. But y'all remember in 08, that's how we used to do it, nigga. That's how we used to do it, nigga. That's how we used to do it in 08. 08? Word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, 08. You was on Bad YouTube looking, in crispy, and clean. Look, clean. Nah, I'm slow. Come on, room. Okay. Come on, room. Okay. Um, Come on, room. I'm beyond slow. Now, you feel me? Give me two seconds to actually have something to eat, because I ain't eat all day. Right. You know what? Well, you can uh, tell that he's like really enjoying making his video. <laughs> and I like that. Like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm an overthinker, I can tell when Mod is like in his head a lot. But he seems like he's really enjoying creating this video. Even the way he's editing it. I want to take this whole content creation thing. So I was telling you guys earlier that now I'm getting older, mm -hmm. and being older, it, it just changes your perspective. It changes your perspective, man. Like, this is true. As you get older, you're supposed to change, and I, now I really know what makes me happy and where I want to take it. Other Amen. than just being happy, like I told you, because I said content creation is a full thing. So I love forward, that. I'm really secretly working on a podcast. I am also working on. A kind of 101 mentorship uh, program with independent artists because I feel as though like a lot of people relate to me and I just try things you feel me I tried different TikTok videos to get right. my stuff to go viral I didn't try little challenges I didn't dance I didn't really did everything you could do in terms of content trying to make this dream happen you mm -hmm. know like I didn't, I didn't fail, I didn't do it this way, I didn't do it that way. So I think now I'm starting to realize that there's a value in my failure. Yes. Like, I never really realized that until this weekend that there's a lot of value That's in failure because do. you at least know what roads to not go down and you could at least give somebody the ability to make a more calculated decision. Yes. So, I want to work with you, like, I don't I'm know on what yet. I'm YouTuber than other YouTubers, and I'm not saying that because... But I do. Like their stories or life stories are any closer to you guys. I don't or know. Maybe anyway, when I get I just feel as though, like, my filming I've certificate and had stuff, to maybe work something really like that. really hard on YouTube to be successful at it. Like, it was never just an easy thing for me where I was just like, oh, I could be lackadaisical. Like, every time that I was serious about YouTube, I had to be serious about YouTube to make money. And I feel mm. like I, the voice in the middle, like I like to call myself, I represent 
the person up here as much as I represent the person down there. So if the person like trying to come up on YouTube wants tips or help, I feel like I would be a good person to speak yes. to because sometimes, not that they he has evolved a lot success, on YouTube. but sometimes the people that are just most successful at the top, like they really just can't explain it or put it into words because it just happened too fast to really uh, calculate what yeah. decision they made. They noticed they did something that could work, but they don't really know like the building steps that made it big. Like me, yeah. I slowly have lived every building point from small channel start without having a crew, getting a crew, blowing up, can't do content the way um, I thought it. I thought I was gonna do content, so now I had to readjust. Yeah. Do it. That's when I started doing videos with Japan. So I just feel like my my uh, YouTube. Um, Knowledge is well versed, and yes. if I, feel, I feel like if my YouTube knowledge is well versed, my music knowledge is ten times more versed. I've been dropping mixtapes since 2016. I've tried everything from blogs when they used to be popping to get your seek a joint pop, popping on hip hop and hip hop to now TikTok. Like I've seen every single thing, and like now, weirdly, some of those things from behind are Coming. starting to work now. Like if you can reincorporate it, so um. Yeah, my next step I don't know, is really like work with him. maybe style him, but mentorship. I feel like he's too style much. Is, but like, some form of mentorship, where like I, I can help. I don't a, know. Yo, that I want to do creepy. something. But where I can help a um a really content creator my... at least like with the psyche of what it takes, because it's a lot. Like waking up, trying to think of three videos a day, and just really laying it out for like the the the, the hardworking YouTuber. Because yeah. I don't think that all YouTubers are hardworking, but. You know, when your shit is it bussing, it's bussing. When you got to do three videos a day just to make what you want to make at the end of the month, that's a different hustle. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think many people have that knowledge. And you at home as a content creator, you're starting from the bottom. You might blow up and pass me with right. some of the shit I know. But at the same time, if you just want to Yeah, that's what I'm trying to step, figure out now. And like, just as an adult going forward, I just want to leave my mark. You feel me? Leave my mark. I feel like a lot of people don't really give me my credit Sorry, for um, what I've accomplished in my life. And I'm not really looking for the credit, but I just want to leave here with a legacy. Like, I don't want to leave the world without a legacy. And, um, I feel that. Maybe, and that's good that he has his mindset now before he has team, children. My rap versus, um, my personality, me being funny. Yeah, I just want to from now on, just be able to say I made people smile and, and be a memorable part of like, you know, just society, you know, just be just to be remembered. So that's my new goal. And it's not like that. It wasn't my goal the whole time, but I was always tunnel vision on trying to do yes. one thing to get all the outcomes. Now I feel like bro, me being, being Jared. You feel me? Other than being Ron, being Jared the person is being a lot of different people. And you know, I just want to bring that to so and, and show it. So that's what I want to do for I'm so glad you figured that out, Mom. Okay, what about what else? What else? That's um, really dope. I love that. Do y'all want to know about my stress? What happened? Um I feel like you're yeah, always I'm stressed. Let's talk about my stress, because when I'm talking about my stress, everybody gets affected. So um oh. Everybody. Yeah, other than that, I'm about to eat my little salmon and rice and uh That's it. I really enjoyed this. I love y'all. I'm about to react to um he my on the radar interview. Lighter. And my the bucket list podcast interview. Go check that out. Unexpected two is out now. I just got it. This was a mad, mad calm video. This is really my first day back. Um Yeah, what's cool? I really don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but if you got some suggestions, please send them to a brother, please. Please, uh, I don't, enjoy don't be this afraid type of below. content. I'm back outside. My license is going to be back soon. I'm about to be back outside. So, with all of that, um, I love y'all. I wouldn't be you without, I wouldn't be me we without love you. you too. And all okay, the go biggest ahead. thing, hold on before we get out of here. Go ahead, go in the room, I'm coming. My Patreon is coming out with exclusive content and exclusive music for y'all. You feel me? I wouldn't be me without y'all. Y'all know, um... I love that you know, for I'm you. I'm trying to provide value and find a new way to provide value. I feel like sometimes 
my work is is me is measured wrong. You feel me? And I measure it wrong too. So with that moving but forward, when you measure my it right, link is down below in the bio. Tap in to see where That's you want to take it or what you think you would want to be a part of. And um, yeah, I think you guys are really gonna like that. I got a lot of content coming. I've, I've been I've been working this last month. I wasn't able to post like I wanted to in January because I was just in my head over a lot of things that mm -hmm. really didn't matter. But um, I feel that. Yeah, Patreon link in the bio. Content, it's content, content, but content, the content, enemy. Content, content. Yeah, I mean, and my... I love y'all. Thank you for staying with me. I know I be a lot. I know I be going through a lot, and I swear. The last year won't be this year. The reason why I wasn't uploading last year, people really tried to, uh, I guess, make it a drama thing, but it really was just my ability to move around as a man. Like, I've been damn near trapped in this crib for the last six months. Okay. You know? Damn near. Damn I'm near. Like, I go outside when I get a ride or I walk to the store or something, but yeah, they took my license from me in Georgia. I don't really got nobody. Like, you know, my mom's is not here. My, you know, my immediate family ain't out here. Right. So, yeah, it is what it is. I had to sit down for a little while, but we back outside. What are you doing? That on sit down is always good, though. Yo, follow your boy, subscribe to your boy, all that good I enjoyed that video. I really did. I don't have my little ad libs anymore. Um, I enjoyed that video. He looks like he's in a better headspace, a better place, a happier place. Um, and I'm serious. I do want to work with him. I just don't know. I have to sit with God and ask, like, okay, what would it be? Because there's so many things that I do that I could do with him. But it just has to be right. So, I don't know. We'll see. I love y'all. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll get back to y'all soon. Bye.